welcome to Mozart's music channel. Keep watching and keep learning. All right, guys, thank you for joining us today in our tutorial Tuesday. It's always my joy to share talk with you. Today, I want to share some interesting tips about the saxophone. I believe that uh, there's nothing much about becoming a professional if you mean to do it. I'm going to be showing you um, some techniques adding up to the one I showed you the last time. I showed you a long tone, vibrato, um, and tonguing. These are basic techniques that will really improve your play. And then you, you notice that it starts sounding professional. And then today I want to add um, two techniques to that. Those techniques I taught you. I want to teach you today about um, slurring and then what you call the grace note. All right. <laughs> Um, today I'm talking about the grace note. The great on the under this grace note, I'm going to talk about the slurring technique, and then I'll talk about the extended grace note, where we talk about descending notes. Now, when we come to slurring, very simple. If you want to slur, you are just on the. Let's talk about the, the, the diatonic scale. Do re mi fa so la ti do. When you want to slur a note, you go back to half note of the chromatic scale. Don't forget the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is what? Do, di, re, re, mi, fa, fi, so, zi, la, to, ti, do. For those of you that, if I'm sounding straight to you, it means you have not watched some of it, uh, you have not been following us. So you check in this channel and go, and go back and watch our tutorial Tuesday playlist. And then you get, uh, you get to catch up with us. So I'm going to talk about the slurring of of the note do if you want to slow do the half note behind that do is t so you go ti do ti do ti do ti do if you want to slow re you go to di re di re di re it's just like the keyboard is that normally just go tren 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 so you are just slowing you are using a note to call another note so you are not actually staying on this t you are staying, you are going to the do, but I don't use it as a passing note. You just go from ti do, ti do, ti do, ti do, ti do. This one now be di re, di re, di re, di re, di re. Uh, behind me is what? Mo. So you go mommy, 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 mommy. Behind fa is what? Mi fa, mi fa, mi fa, mi fa. Just half note. Then what of so? Zil, fiso, 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 fiso. Then you have zila, 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 zila. Then you have toti, 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 toti. Yeah. Tido, 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 tido. is going to help us blow the slurring of each note. Now, Versax is on key C. She's going to slur key C. Your, your under key C, your do is C. If your do is C, so you are going what? You are going to be using your C sharp to slur your your C. So let's go now. Let's go. Now, what of your what of your ray? Your ray is your key D. So let's go to D. This is your D. This is her C sharp. Alright, let's go. Da, 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 da. What of me? Mommy, mommy, which is your E flat. You use your E flat to slow your E. Mommy, mommy, go. What of your do? You are using your side C to slow your B. Let's go. All right, that's how I go on this particular key. Other keys, what you do is that you just go ahead and um, bring out the half note behind that note. That is the slurring of that note. There are a lot of techniques about slurring. Some people slur with their mouth, with their embroker. That is where you get your vibrato from.
but that is not too reliable when, when you are playing. So you can have your jaw slurring, just like your jaw vibrato, when, when we touch vibrato, Now, but I'm teaching you note slurring. You slur with your note. So, which is more reliable when it comes to playing? I have to change from using my mouth to slur to using my note to slur. If you haven't done that, you are cheating yourself. So, you just go, you just, the easy way out is not always the best way. It's easier to slur with your mouth, but it's more reliable to slur with your, with your notes, which is, it's giving me the same thing. So, you just, I choose the note uh, slurring. So you go. That's slurring for you. Now, under this slurring, I'm going to give you an assignment to do. You call, you are going to pronounce each note twice. Versa is going to give us, you are going to be pronouncing each of those notes twice. Now, pronouncing it twice, you will blow one and slow one. You will go to Ray, you blow one and slow one. You go to me, you blow one and slow one. So, Versa, can you face them? Again. Ray. Come down. Good, that's great. So you go do do. That's like going do ti do re di re mi mo mi fa mi fa so fi so la di la ti to ti do ti do 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 ti do ti to ti la di la so fi so fa mi fa mi. That's what my father just did. That was great. That's all about slurring. Now, I want you to um, let's apply the slurring techniques immediately. Within a particular melody or a song, just try and pick out where you can slur. Now, let's take Amazing Grace for example. Amazing Grace, Versa is going to blow Amazing Grace for us. has just you know practiced that for you now provided you want to um, let me show you uh, just something more to do There's no how I'll be able to play it slowly with my mouth and get that accuracy. For example, I, I can get it, but it's not as clear, it's not as perfect, and it's not as professional as when I was actually slowing it with my hand. All right, guys, that's all about. Um, um, Slurring. If you miss any part, if you have songs you want me to give you a, and you want me to underline the notes that you should stress. Now, the good thing about slurring is that 
you use slurry to stress a note. You can, use, you can use it to accent a note. You can use it to stress a note. You can use it to, pro, to, to really give a note some strength. Sometimes you find some musicians slurring a note and at the same time tonguing that note. You go. So everything goes. Ta, 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 ta. But I'm not in that over. Don't slur all your notes of a song. I can go. No, that becomes that becomes too much. So don't slur all the notes. Just pick out some notes, depending on the melody of the song, and then you just know exactly where you should apply this slur again. All right, guys. Thank you. The next point on the grace note I want to teach you is the extended one. This one you are going to be using. You are going to be applying it on every descending note. Every descending note. Every descending note, like re do mi re fa mi so fa la so ti la do ti re do. You you go. So when when we come to re do, you are going to slow the first note of the descending note. You slow re. That's the re mommy mi fa fi so di la to ti ti do ti re. Now after slowing the first note, you now add. You now descend. To the do. You now go more do. Family, fi family, zi so fa, to la so, do ti la, di do ti, more do. So if you pronounce it better, it becomes di re more do. Mommy family, mi fa fi family, fi so zi so fa, zi la to la so, to ti do ti la, ti do di do ti, di re more do. This is where you'll be cheated if you don't know so far. That's why I teach you on so far. How ah, am ah, I going to explain it on using a um, C sharp, D sharp, and the rest? But of course, you know, when, depending on the key you are playing on, you don't know exactly where your D is. Of course, if I'm on C, this Ray will be my D. D sharp will be my what? Will be my uh, D, I think, D with C sharp. This will be my D, C sharp. More will be my E flat, and so on. So this is my E flat, this is my F sharp, this is my F sharp, this is my G sharp. And then this is my B flat. So that's just how you go. If you miss those classes, that was when I was teaching on them how to what? How to play the diatonic scale of all the keys. That was a very powerful class. I think you should check it out. Alright, let's go. Again. Again. Faster. Now it's going to be as fast as you can. Uh -huh. Mommy fan again slowly. Again. Faster. Uh -huh. The next one. Again. She's using this feet. She's using this F sharp. Again. Faster. Uh -huh. She's on this sofa. She's on this sofa. Tight key to quickly, you know, blend that do. So, T do T la again, again. That's how it goes. So, in that, now she's going to start from T do T la down again. Great. So you see that? That's how it is. Now I'm going to show you something now. If you are going to practice it, just practice it just the way it is, up and down. Even if you don't get to this, three more, it will depend on because that will take you to a higher octave, which I don't, uh, I don't want to stress it for now. So you can just stop at this, this uh, thirty thirty la, then take it from here to this place, like this, like this, like this, like she did. Now, but if you are starting on the lower note, you go. <laughs> So, 
so he stop it at that point. Now. Versailles is going to apply this same thing, what we just did now, apply it on that same song, Amazing Grace. Uh, put everything together that we just done, uh, the slurring, the grace note, all of them put together. You'll be noticing her vibrato, you'll be noticing her long note, you'll be noticing her, 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 you know, her, her vibrato and all the techniques that we've learned. All right, Versailles. <laughs> song let me apply it myself on those songs uh, which one did I do the last time uh, pass me not O to Savior Talking about the minor scale. So when we get back, you will discover that the minor scale is one scale you should start uh, practicing. But nevertheless, still on slurring and grace note, that's where to apply it. How do you get the place to apply it in a song? Write down the surface of that of a song, and anywhere you see a descending note, just underline it. It gives you the mind that okay, I'm going to do my grave note on this note. Yeah. And then, so it's like the tila so famile do so la la ti ti do so i'm going to apply the grace to when i was descending do tila so famile do those are descending notes so this is that Do, 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 do
Famé, mais il va vivre famé, famille, il est mort les Ici, makes a whole lot of difference. All right, guys, so with your slurry techniques, with your long toe, with your vibrato, with your tongue in, all these five techniques that we've taught you on this channel, go back to that last class. I'm expecting most of you to watch that video because that is one of the most important aspects of the saxophone. But you are ignoring it. Don't ignore anything that has to do with techniques about the saxophone because you can have a bad sax, you can have a cheap sax, but if you have quality um, techniques in place, that cheap sax becomes a pro we sound professional sax. So don't start thinking, okay, because you know, those days we used to excuse some of these things. We thought that it was the sax we were using. We didn't know that, you know, it was not about the sax we were using. So it's about the techniques that you are applying on this note. All right, guys, thank you for joining us today. If you, if you want more explanation, make sure you rewind and rewind and watch over and over and over. Verasas, what do you have to say about this class? Okay. The class was ooh, ooh. That was so powerful. And I've learned a lot of things today. And I believe you've learned also. And for those of you that are yet to subscribe, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And click on the notification button beside it to always know whenever I will drop anything. And if you have any complaint, put it down below. We'll answer every question. Thank you. See you next Tuesday. All right, guys. Bye.